Drew Brees is 41 years old on the tail end of his career, on the final leg. And that could mean a lot of things. That could mean final three years, two years, one year, three games. It's a possibility. Mainly because of the comments that head coach Sean Payton made in an interview. I'm going to go ahead and pull that quote up and put it up on the screen as well. This is what he said about Jameis Winston, Taysom Hill, and the quarterback future after Drew Brees. He stated, One of the attractions for Jameis, and I understand it, was there aren't many places in free agency where you can go to a team and have a pretty good bet that that quarterback like Drew is going to be playing in his last year. Peyton told the NFL's Huddle and Flow podcast, that doesn't exist. You go to a team and you're going to look for that opportunity to sometime be a starter. He's going to have that opportunity the minute Drew leaves, and both he and Taysom know that. So I'm going to pause right there because I want to go back and see what he said about Drew Brees' last year. Talking about Jameis Winston, about how the Saints were an attraction to sign because you don't get the opportunity to sign with a team where you're behind a quarterback like Drew who's going to be playing in his last year. Did he spill the beans? I don't know. We still don't know yet. And Drew Brees probably still does not know yet either. He's probably going to take a couple months after the season to really sit down and make that decision before he decides to move on. And the postseason as well is going to determine his thought process into that decision as well. But Sean Payton, mentally, is he thinking, oh man, yeah, Drew Brees is on this last leg of his career, but is that leg going to be ending sometime soon, as early as 2021? Will we have a new starting quarterback for the New Orleans Saints? Permanent starting quarterback. Let me go back and finish that quote. So it just talks a little bit about uh, Winston signed a one-year, $1.1 million deal. So if they want to keep in New Orleans, they have to resign him. But this is what he had to say. I've been proud of how that room has handled it, Jameis particularly, because he's a competitor and he wants that opportunity, Peyton said. And listen, I feel like, and I said it a week ago, I feel like a next quarterback is in the building. It's Taysom Hill or Jameis Winston, according to Sean Payton. Why is that big news? Why does that tie into Drew Brees potentially retiring after this season? Talking about Taysom Hill, he's 30 years old. Will be 31 next season as a starting quarterback of the Saints. He's been doing pretty well for the Saints as the starting quarterback, but In that four games that he's had in replacing Drew Brees, 72% of his passes completed, four passing touchdowns, two interceptions, 96.9 quarterback rating, and he's been rushing the ball a lot. 209 rushing yards, four rushing touchdowns. Pretty solid, and a 4-0 record for the Saints as well with Hill as a starting quarterback. They're confident in him, and they're okay with him being the starting quarterback for the time being and giving Drew Brees as much time as as he needs to heal before he makes the decision to take him out and put Brees back in. But if you look on what he's on pace to finish the season with, 16 passing touchdowns and 8 interceptions. He isn't known as this prolific, greatest passer in the NFL. Taysom Hill is, at least. He's better known as his rushing ability. He's better known as the guy that came in for Sean Payton and led the team to a 4-0 record. How long is that going to last, though? Do you really want someone that isn't known for their passing ability and Uh, maybe this is true, maybe this isn't true. Maybe NFL teams could expose him. Maybe NFL teams could shut him down. And then all of a sudden, Hill is no longer relevant in the NFL. Or do you go with a guy like Jameis Winston, who is known for his passing ability, the most realistic option for the Saints. He's almost 27 years old. In just a few days, he's going to be turned 27. And that's proven that he can't pass the ball. He just needs to fix some mistakes here and there and throw a lot less interceptions for the Saints. Regardless, Sean Payton believes that the quarterback of the future is in the locker room. They're not going to be bringing in another guy, maybe like Carson Wentz, or they might draft another quarterback, a young guy, but another veteran. He doesn't believe it's going to be the possibility of bringing them in and replacing Drew Brees at all. But those words by Sean Payton, it was head scratching. And a lot of guys have come out and said, yeah, we believe this is Drew Brees' last season. For instance, Brett Favre, who's been in that road of retiring, then unretiring, retiring. He believes if, if he can get in the head of Drew Brees and has any sort of say, which I would trust his words based off of his experience of retiring, 
He's saying that, yeah, more than likely this could be Drew Brees' last season. So uh, leave your comments. Do you believe that Brees is done after this year?